Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Each month I do a Ubiquity News update and this is going to be the video for November of 2023. I've been away on vacation for the last two weeks and there's been a lot that has happened. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com and I do have affiliate links down in the description below. Now, the first bit of news and probably the biggest news is Ubiquity is doing a Black Friday sale. They have never done this before for their Unify products that I know of. They've only done it for their Amplify. So you can see right on screen that we have the Black Friday and it ends in 42 hours. So if you're watching this video when I released it, you'll probably be able to get these. But what they're offering is the UDM Pro for $279. That's $100 off the original price tag. You could also buy the Dreamwall for $7.99 and that's $200 off. Now on the UDM Pros, there is a limit of three per customer, but it doesn't look like there's any limit for the Dreamwall, so you could buy as many as you want. Now something new with the Dreamwall that's never been offered before, it has two different power supply slots, but when you buy the Dreamwall, you only get one power supply in it, and up until now, they didn't have the extra module for sale, but now they do, and it's $129 USD. This Black Friday sale is only available in the United States. The next thing that came out is that Unify Talk is now released in the United Kingdom and you could buy the phones. You could also load it on Unify Talk, but you need to be running an EA version of Talk for these to be able to work. I'm not 100% sure on the price point. If you know what the cost is, let me know down below in the comments. There was another big release while I was away, and that was the Gateway Lite. So this is supposed to be the successor to the USG3. I do have one of them and I am working on my review now. This device is supposed to do one gigabit routing and one gigabit with IDS and IPS turned on, and I will be testing all of that and it comes in at $129 USD. Now the Gateway Lite doesn't have any built-in controllers, so you're either gonna have to use self-hosted controller, you'll have to use a cloud key, or the cloud console by Ubiquity. In my video, I'll be using the cloud console, but we will make sure that it works with self-hosted as well. Now this next section will focus on Protect, and Ubiquity just released the new AI Theta Professional, which has a different lens that you could do 4K in. They now also have the mount that they were showing in their videos that wasn't available for quite a while. So now looking under the store, we could see that we have the AI Theta Professional Kit or we have the standard. So the Professional comes in at $329. You could also buy the hub separate as well as the different lenses if you don't want to buy the full kit. And we also have a couple different mounting options for the AI Theta. We have the AI Theta Angle Mount. We have the AI Theta Professional Angled Mount. And then we have the Flush Mount for the Professional Lens. The AI Theta is one of my favorite cameras to put at reception desks when I don't need to have IR. Still sticking with Protect, Ubiquity released Unify Protect application 2.9.42. One of the features of this is the doorbell now has that dog animation that they showed off in their original video for the Doorbell Pro. We'd also do license plate recognition search, so let's take a look at that. In my UNVR Pro, we're gonna click on detections and we could see search license plate. We need to know a minimum of three letters of the license plate for us to be able to do a search. So I'm gonna put in the first three of mine, so it's CHN, and then we'll press enter. And I'm gonna be blurring the license plate out, but you could see all of the thumbnails that are picked up by this license plate search. One thing I think would be great with the license plates would be the integration with Unify Access and a gate. So if it recognizes your license plate and you have access into that area, the gate would lift. I'm most likely going to do a full dedicated video to this Unify Protect release. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of things that they've added, including the support for door access detection event in the detection page and playback timeline. So we'll take a look at that in the future. Another piece of news is Unify Network Application 8.0.7 is now official. I did a video when it was in release candidate and you could check that out if you want. Want, but it brings a ton of new features including WireGuard client as well as this different VLAN viewer. And the last thing we're going to look at for this November news of 2023 for Unify is the Cloud Console. The Cloud Console is now available in Canada. It previously was only available in the United States. So if we don't have a UDM Pro or a UDM SE or a Dreamwall and we're using say the new Unify Gateway Lite, we still need to tie this to some sort of controller. So this is a Unify hosted cloud controller. And for $39 a month, we could have 100 devices. And for $129 a month, we could have up to 1,000 devices connected. And this is really great for MSPs 
that aren't using one of the dream consoles. And that's it for this video. I'm really glad that Ubiquiti is now offering their unified devices within Black Friday. Hopefully next year we could see the deals in Canada and the UK so that we aren't left out. I most definitely would have bought another dream wall as well as three of the UDMs. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.